What's, go what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and part three of Resident Evil 1. Now, last video, we were able to get two of the four masks and the shield key. Well, right now, we're going to deal with Yon last, and we're going to go get the third mask. Unfortunately, uh, my path to it is <laughs> filled with dogs and zombies. And I've, and I've only got enough room for one health item, so... <laughs> Okay. Did it again, went the wrong way, son of a bitch. Now, my decision to leave the dogs alive may come back and bite me in the ass. Ugh, I, I, I severely hope not. But if all goes right, this might be the last time I have to come through here, so we're not dealing with them again. Whole point of leaving them alive was to conserve shotgun rounds for later. Don't touch me, don't touch me. And made it. <laughs> okay, now right. Yep, there's one. There's at least four zombies in that one area right there. Ah, I know that sound. That's a sweet sound of a watermelon bursting. Wait around. Oh, I've only got two bullets in the gun. I can't see him. I can't see him. Oh, there's the other two. Ah, oh, quick. Dude, what the hell? Better than I thought. I wish I'd grab my kerosene though. Go ahead and take care of him. If I can get back far enough, and I can't. Okay, at this point I've only got one more door left on that armor key and I'm going to try to visit that room before we go to yawn if I if I believe I have enough time I will oh I love that sound Okay. This is mask number three. Now, 
This is one of those rooms where if you fire your weapon, you're just gonna die. Oh, um, okay, it would appear I went in the wrong order. Bracelet, necklace, crown. Shit. Okay, let's go back and try again. Okay, bracelet, necklace, crown. Bracelet. this one okay there is the third mask or however order whatever order you want to do it in you don't have to do it in this exact order this is just the order I thought would be best okay now we can go use this uh, armor key one last time and then we're done with it and then we go and go get the shield key and do the on fight and get the fourth mask. And then we are out of the mansion, at least temporarily, until we obtain the shield key and then we have to come back. Yippee. Oh, no, sorry. Helmet key. Shield key is the key for Yon. So many keys, my brain is not processing them very well. Don't judge me. This is what happens when you don't sleep very much and live off caffeine. Let's go. Wait, I don't think there's any zombies in the room we're going in, so I'm going to confidently leave this behind, because if I remember right, there are herbs in this room, and it is close by, so we can just go ahead and go right to it. Okay, apparently we do have one we have one more room on that key apparently. Huh. Weird. need another small key. Son of a bitch. Okay, maybe I'll get lucky and there's one in here. There is one in here. Okay. No, I'll come back and get that later if I need to. Matter of fact, I think I'll leave that box there until I come back with the helmet key. Just in case. Or, maybe I'll just go ahead and grab it while I'm here. I mean, it doesn't make sense to come back if I don't have to. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'll go ahead and take the fish hook, and I believe we got to move. There's something in this room we got to deal with here. Okay, I was wrong. Apparently there's no... And the damn bug is alive. I'm sure in VR that would be... That would be really creepy. <laughs> what kind of bug takes two bullets to, 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 to kill? It's still alive! What the hell? Windcrest is completely optional. You don't have to go, you don't have to get it. I mean, you can get it if you want the Magnum, which under Chris, I recommend. Because the Magnum will come in handy later on in the, well, technically you'd have to hold on to it until the end of the game. But it's better to have it, not need it, need it, not have it. Or at least that's the way I look at it. I understand. I think I could have swore we used that armor key on every door we needed to. Wait a minute. I think I know what door we didn't use it on. But all we can really get is some bullets. So there's nothing there. Except for maybe you. Well, if you're Jill, you go there and you get the grenade launcher. If you're Chris, you go there and you just get bullets. Maybe an herb and get attacked by a zombie. Up to you. Okay. We're gonna go do the yawn fight now. I think I'll use that last use of that key on the way back. Alright. Let's go catch us a snake. Let a backtrack through here and burn that and burn that zombie. That this that would have been an interesting getting in here if he was still alive. Because by now he would have turned into a crimson head and in that small space, they're not very fun. All right, place your bets down below if you think I'm gonna get poisoned. Yes, I will take that because I'm probably not coming back to this room. And there's everybody's worst nightmare. It's the snake from the movie Python. I can't be the only one who saw that movie. Anaconda, maybe? No, don't get poisoned, don't get poisoned. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Too late. Is he leaving? I don't understand. What's he doing? Okay, apparently he's ignoring me. Yeah, he's leaving. Damn it, I got poisoned. Oh well. No need to raise an alarm right now. I'm, I'll get saved. I think, or believe I will. 
And there's our final death mask. So we are on our, we are on our way out of the mansion. And into the great beyond. Ooh. And I can also show you where to get the magnum. Yep, I got poison. Poison. Uh, Chris! I need serum. Serum? I remember seeing it. I'll be I'll right, right back. back. Just, Just hang in there. there. Maybe that's why I play this, Chris. Because Rebecca loops in the Christmas story, and I just finished with zero, so it to me it just it made more sense. I mean, it might sound dumb, but it just it just made sense to me to do it to do it that way. It's kind of like after two, if you to really get the you don't have to play three, three you can skip three and play Veronica Code and go and get more, and you're still going to get the whole story story minus what happened to Jill in Raccoon City but until they remake 3 or I get the right equipment to record off record off an old, older console I'm not going to be able to do that one for y'all However, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's, I think I think it's a different person's voice in this game for Rebecca versus in Zero. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but it just they just sound different to me. I'm curious. Okay, she does. She can't open the item box. Okay. Oh shit. Turned my attention to my cat and I went the wrong way. Probably like hammered shit. You were bitten by a poisonous snake and fell unconscious. Poisonous snake? That's not a snake. Easy. Uh, oh, my head's killing me. You should be fine, because I gave you a shot of serum. But again, don't do anything that you wouldn't do. I'll try to remember that. I owe you one. All right, now this is about where I got last time when I completely f failed and nothing and it didn't record, record and I had my, and all my and my equipment just stopped working and I had to start this whole game back over. Although I will say I'm further ahead this time than I was last time because last time I was leaving here and going get the last and going get the mask in the portrait room.
but I went ahead and got some masks in the portrait room before I came over, came in here. So now we're gonna go open the la I believe the last door for the armor key. I'm gonna grab what's available for me to grab, and we're gonna go to an item room, put everything in the item box. We'll put it. Put what we don't need in the item box, and we're gonna go to get the uh, item we need to get to the back door, and we're getting out of here. There we go. Now we got the last use out of that key. Good thing, too. Now, see, if you're Jill, you can go right down there and get the grenade launcher. But with Chris, it's not there. And as soon as you grab that herb, you're going to get attacked by your by the your whatever his name is zombie who has my believe body armor so no all right now on to the item box and then let's to the graveyard we go To leave these here. I mean, I get more once I'm down there, but I can't, I'll have enough space to take them all with me. So I'm gonna take the masks and one health item. And we're just gonna go straight to the graveyard, straight down the steps, put the masks in, and hopefully we kill this thing in one shot. Or I sincerely hope we do, because I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not going to save it. It would suck to die and have to start all back over. I gotta admit, though, to be 100% honest, this the graveyard area, even though you're not there very much, when I was younger and I first started playing this game, used to really creep me out. Something about being in a graveyard and a zombie game and it just that, 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 I don't know. Might have been that, might have been because of those old timer zombie movies when you see them, them coming out of the graveyard and coming out of the ground. I know I'm not talking about Thriller. I mean, George Romero's Nine of the Dead and the Day of the Dead. I mean, you said shit was unreal. Holes where eyes should be, so we need the mask with no eyes. So that's the messed up part about this. You see your impending doom coming. And the man, the blood on the screen just looks wicked. Okay, nose. And now it gets fun. Why 
why couldn't you just stay dead? I mean, come on. And I was worried he was going to kill me. All right. Grab the shotgun bullets. Or, sorry, shotgun shells. And what we need to get out of this mansion. Alright, we don't have enough time for me to leave the mansion and get get directly to where we need to go, so that's going to be it on this particular video. So, we're going to go ahead and save it and call it. So, if, uh, if that's going to be it. So, if you liked the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Resident Evil content.